And we start with the latest news on the search for Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. The Malaysian Prime Minister has confirmed that the wing fragment found on Reunion Island is from the missing plane. The announcement comes following initial analysis of the debris at a military lab in the French city of Toulouse. However, the Deputy Paris Prosecutor, Serge Makoviak, was more cautious in his remarks, saying that there was a strong presumption the piece was part of MH370. A major reason being it matches the technical characteristics of the missing plane. Kate Parkinson has more from Toulouse. The Malaysian Prime Minister confirmed what many have suspected since the piece of debris washed up last week on the shores of Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. Today, 515 days since the plane disappeared, it is with a very heavy heart that I must tell you that an international team of experts have conclusively confirmed that the aircraft debris found on Reunion, Reunion Island is indeed from MH370. His announcement followed an analysis of the wing part by international experts at an aeronautical test centre near Toulouse on Wednesday. Malaysian officials were invited by France to witness the inspection, but there were discrepancies between the two countries' conclusions. In Paris, the deputy prosecutor would only say they believe the wing part, known as a flapperon, is from MH370. It exists. There is a very strong supposition that the flapperon found on the beach of the island of Réunion on the 29th of July actually does belong to the Boeing 777 of flight MH370. The initial analysis lasted for just a few hours, but investigators will be back on Thursday. This is just the start of this new phase in the MH370 investigation. Investigators will now try to figure out why this plane crashed and where it went down. Finding this piece of debris is certainly the biggest breakthrough in the investigation into MH370, but the mystery of the missing Malaysian airliner is still far from being solved. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Toulouse.